how to develop a project. Number four, response to artist research. What you do next is going to be based entirely on your chosen theme, preference to media and choice of artist you have researched. You have already created a transcription in response to your artist and presented it on your research page. You can now explore the artist's style and way of working in more detail. Rather than directly copying an artist's work, you can try creating a similar composition, exploring their movement concepts as I have here with this cubist piece. You should explore the same or similar materials to that of your artist. Here I have used collage papers and fabric in a similar way to Kirch Fitters. Look at more than one piece of work to get a different idea for your own piece. Here you can see I have used the same technique and process of the artist Robin Brooks, who creates collage papers using mark making techniques and then uses them to develop landscape collages. Take note of your artist's key features. For example, in this response to Min Jae Lee, I noted that her work uses mixed media bright colour, pattern and contrast. I then chose which media to use. I chose between watercolour paint, brush pens and pen with a water wash. It's important to remember that you don't have to use the exact media the artist uses if you're focusing on their sense of style. You will also notice that I focused on the eye rather than creating a full portrait. It still demonstrates the style of the artist. In this response to George Kondo, I noted that his work is semi-abstract, that he uses shape and bright colour, as well as line and angles. This artist uses oil paint, but I use soft pastels. I've achieved a similar effect and would later develop using oil paint if I felt that was appropriate. In this response to Louis Jover, I have noted that the artist's key features are that he uses collage backgrounds like newspapers or book pages, contrasting tones and black ink, no colour. In this piece, I have chosen to use the same media as the artist to get a feel for the way they work. For this response to Giuseppe Arcimboldo, I noted his key features being semi-abstract, the fact that his work is based on fruit and vegetables, and the way that he uses natural tones and realistic painting. I decided to take his concept of using fruit and veg to build a portrait, but rather than using oil paint as he had done, I chose to use collage process using fruit and veg magazines to cut up and collate. I've achieved a similar effect using an alternative process. For this response to Banksy, I focused on both his concepts, his ideas behind his street art, and I explored the processes he uses. I made stencils, worked in layers, and spray painted onto different textural surfaces. Okay, so to summarize, rather than copy an artist's work, create your own composition in a similar way. Have a go at exploring the same materials, techniques and processes as the artists if you're able to. This will help to get a feel for the way they worked. 
Equally, you can focus on the concept, the idea or meaning behind the art and create your own piece using alternative media. You may wish to enlarge a detail and focus on one element rather than create a full composition. Take note of the artist's key features and focus on them.